welcome back to our channel for the road. I'm Simone. I am Giovanni. And today we're taking you to beautiful Isla Mujeres. It's around 8 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we're headed to the main road to catch the bus so we can go get down to the main ferry terminal um, to grab the ferry to go over to Isla Mujeres and we're super excited aren't yes. we? Yes! Isla Mujeres! We're going to another island! <laughs> We made our way down to Puerto Juarez Ferry Terminal, located about 10 minutes away from Cancun famous Hotel Sun. We hop on a quick 15 minute ferry ride over to the beautiful Isla Mujeres to do some exploring. We're actually going to head to our hotel now to see if we can drop our bags off and then we're going to do some exploring of the island. mentioning here in Isla Mujeres they are very very serious about um, COVID procedures so even when you're just walking the streets and there's no one around you and it's 7,000 degrees you you need to be wearing your mask at all times. If you are not using they're gonna stop you and say hey please. Yeah you've got police patrolling problem. patrolling the streets. For some reason we thought it would be a good idea to walk to our hotel from the the ferry terminal um, but it is about 7,000 degrees Celsius outside right now and it feels like we've been walking for about two hours. Is that not right? Stop complaining, it's just <laughs> three miles away. Just three miles in the midday Caribbean heat. No problem. We found this nice cozy place here where we're gonna have like authentic food and actually it's from the Yucatan Peninsula so... Okay. So now it's a Mayan word. Uh -huh. means can Come to, eat. Come to eat. Amazing, that's so cool. <laughs> when coming to Mexico, these are the kinds of places that you really need to come and eat. This is where you're going to taste authentic Mexican food. This food is actually made by the gentleman that owns the restaurant and the food is incredible. Look what we've got. We've got a torta, which is a sandwich, um, and inside you've got egg marinated pork, you've got beans, and then you get salsa verde, a little bit spicy. Check that on there. Mm -hmm. mm. 10 out of 10. If you come to Mexico, you will always find fresh produce in every, in almost every corner. We just arrived at our hotel and my number one favorite feature, you gotta come and look at this. We're here out at the beach and it is absolutely gorgeous. The color of the water is unreal. Look at that. The reason why we chose to stay in our hotel during our trip to Isla Mujeres was because at the time, Quintana Roo North was still in the orange as far as the COVID traffic light system is working here in Mexico. This meant that the beaches were close to the public, with a small exception. If you were to book into a hotel that has its own private beach access, you could then legally be on the beach. We are so fortunate to have booked into Isla Hotel for the night. The facilities were brand new and gorgeous, the location was quiet and secluded, and the staff were incredibly helpful and welcoming.
this is definitely not the kind of place that Giovanni and I are used to staying in, but we're so grateful. We were able to get a really good promotion um, and we're really, really grateful to be here because it is absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Really, really beautiful. If you can, I would definitely recommend yeah, this hotel. It's, it's really, really, really nice. We had such a nice sleep in that nice comfy bed. Um, we've got a whole other day of exploring to do here in Isla. I must say it is a really, really beautiful, quiet island. I don't know if the quietness has anything to do with um, with COVID, but what I would say if I had to compare Isla to Cozumel is Cozumel definitely seems more of like a cruise ship destination, whereas Isla is definitely more like boutique quiet, quaint, um, so our personal preference is always quieter, so if we had to choose between Cozumel and Isla Mujeres, I think Isla would definitely be our, our first option. I know the first activity is breakfast, we're about to go get oh, some yes. breakfast yeah. and we will show you all that. <laughs> How do you use your face mask under your nose? <laughs> like that. Nice. So some of the measures that the hotel has in terms of COVID safety is you'll find these hand sanitizers all over the hotel. All of your, your linen and things, all of the towels, your bathrobes, things like that all come wrapped in plastic. We just had our breakfast here at the restaurant in the hotel. And it was really, really good actually serving Mexican dishes uh, from the Yucatan Peninsula and it was really tasty. And something that I do really like, like Giovanni said, is um, the, the breakfast is not completely west westernized. They, they do incorporate like, authentic Mexican cuisine, which I think is really important when you're traveling to another country. You, you want to experience the food of that country, so that's that's something I really appreciate about about yeah. this hotel. And service, it's service oh. is amazing. All these guys are just putting the yeah. best yeah. effort to give and provide the best high service. quality, mm -hmm. high quality service. And shout out to Luis and Pedro, they were they were, they were amazing. Two thumbs up for them. <laughs> Two thumbs up on them, and a thumbs up if you like this video so far. Mm -hmm. We were very lucky to catch a public bus down back to the ferry terminal, so we could book our boat tour for the morning. The sky was so blue, so we booked a boat tour and now it's pouring with rain. So hopefully by the time we, we get on the boat the sky is blue again because it's really coming down. up a little bit which is great this boat tour is actually about two and a half to three hours and it's taking us from one side of Isla Mujeres kind of just to the other side so the storm has actually gotten a lot worse Ooh, as you can see it's so beautiful <laughs> the storm has gotten a lot worse so I think that they're just waiting for it to, to maybe pass I don't know if we can go on our boat but we're really really hoping so so forward, neutral, reverse? Yes. Okay, that's yes. Okay, cool. Our boat tour, unfortunately, because of the weather, has been postponed. Maybe it's going to be cancelled. So what we're doing right now is we've rented a golf cart for two hours and we're going to take a little drive around the island to show you guys.
camera because it's really wet out, um, so excuse the audio quality, but it's, it really doesn't look like it's going to be clearing up now, so we're just going to take you around on a, an island tour, wet edition. <laughs> 2020, period. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're getting on a boat today, but we will see. We will see. Yeah. Cross fingers. Vani's just gone to get some plastic bags so that we can cover our bags and our camera equipment because it is pouring and there is no sign of any sun coming out anytime soon. So I'd say definitely no boats today, but we get to tour the island, so that's really exciting. But I am pretty, pretty cold right now. I'm not gonna lie. What are you doing? I'm gonna cover myself under <laughs> fashion. <laughs> the best footage is shaking is not because of the camera, it's because of our body. Let's go! There is a lot, a lot, a lot of rain here today, and the golf cart is just. Struggling, struggling. Oh, should. When you're traveling, you've got to keep in mind that things are not always going to go according to plan, but you've just got to make the most of it. Yeah. Like, we're having fun, we're soaking wet and we're freezing cold, but it's, it's still like a beautiful day. It's beautiful, exactly. If we decided to just stay in a hotel room, we'd be missing all of this right yeah, now. This is, this is, this is, what, experience, this yeah. is what makes traveling worth it. And it is our Mexican survival kit. <laughs> Regular ATV experience. It was a 10 out of 10. It was an extreme adventure. <laughs> well, today weather condition didn't allow us to go into the ocean, so a little bit sad. But what we can do? It's modern nature. But although our trip, a trip around the island in the rain on the golf course was such an adventure, we had so much fun. So we really can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we couldn't leave Isla Mujeres without showing you the beautiful blue waters here. So we took advantage of taking catamaran sailing for the day. So hopefully you like this video and you enjoy the beautiful Caribbean water of Mexico. Today we're headed out on a, a five and a half hour tour. Basically what that includes is one hour stop over in Isla Mujeres. I believe they usually stop for a little bit longer in Isla Mujeres, but because so many things are closed, one hour they said is enough. Uh, we're headed to a shipwreck. Uh, what else are we doing today on the boat? Okay, we're gonna basically sail around Isla Mujeres area, which is when you can see the blue Caribbean uh, water. We're gonna be go to Playa Norte in Isla Mujeres, and we will show you around the area. basically in the middle of Isla Mujeres and Cancun so the pure clear water you can find in here actually we just uh, saw a shipwreck there and was after the hurricane Gilberto in 1985 so the shipwreck is still there and it's beautiful it's uh, it's part of the coral reef now and you can swim around there obviously you cannot touch the coral reef as it's protected but it's it's an amazing place so it's a, it's a must to do if you come to this place try to get one of these tools and definitely, definitely worth it. Chips, guac, ceviche and pasta. I am beyond grateful to be out here in the Mexican Caribbean. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. We got so lucky with the weather. Yeah, we used to live in a Caribbean island as well and... This is our home now. 
Blake is like home, yeah. I need to use my hat. Yes, Hi, everybody. I'm on video. <laughs> you come from South Africa. South Africa. I have friends, two friends working here no, from South Africa. Africa. Very That's nice amazing. people. Yeah. yeah. If you're enjoying this video, consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our adventures here in Mexico. And beyond. The clarity, the color, the temperature, everything is perfect about this place. So, Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! One of the benefits to being in this trip is like you have a free time in Isla Mujeres. However, as most of the things are closed here, they just are allowing to the people to be around like an hour, an hour and a half. Usually it's like two hours or two hours and a half, but you know, considering beaches are closed, some of the like attractions are closed, so that doesn't make much sense to spend more time here. a different Isla Mujeres than what we saw the other day when it was when you guys just saw it was pouring with rain still beautiful when it was pouring with rain but today in the sunlight wow it's the colors it's just it's beautiful and actually and actually looks a little bit like quieter than the other day well this is Playa Norte looks completely empty but beautiful She always loses her cubre bocas, her face mask. <laughs> the the boat has been wonderful. We've had a really really good time on the boat. The the um, captain has been so informative. Not just the captain, everyone. everyone. Everyone on the boat has been super friendly, super informative. The lunch was really delicious, really fresh. Um, now we're now we're on the island and we're doing some exploring and then we're heading back. So Magical Towns here in Mexico or Pueblos Magicos is an incentive from the Department of Tourism. They are promoting all these beautiful places in Mexico. They have culture or some um, traditions that are still preserving and trying to push towards to tourism. Something that I absolutely, absolutely love about Isla Mujeres is all the colors. If you look down any of these streets, you're just going to see different colored houses and it's so pretty. Like this one over here is my personal favorite so far. During hot summer days, ice pop. We're headed back onto the boat to go home. It's so sad. It's been such a nice day. I mean, we still got a little bit more to go, but one hour in um, Isla Mujeres went super quickly. Yeah, we enjoy. I mean, we just walk around, take some pictures, got and some, some ice cream. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> and now, get him to the boat. See you there. Yeah. 
if you've only got the option to go out when it's raining, go. But wait for a sunny day. Seriously, the sun makes this water like the crazy levels of blue. has hands down been my favorite um, destination so far in Mexico. I'm not sure about you. Yeah. Pretty beautiful. If you're looking for those Caribbean blues, this is the place to find them. Um, so if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any of our future episodes. Please let us know in the comments how we can improve our channel and any other things you would like to see here with us for the road channel. We're really happy to see you in the next episode. So this is an icon of the Mexican history. 